Hello, friends and fellow farmers. Quiet little night, which has sold all the junk out of our pockets. Rainy day. Is it raining still? I hope it's not raining. I hope it's not raining. It's, it's, it's still raining. <laughs> Good morning, Dweezil. Oh, Queen of Sauce. It's not a rerun. Mackey roll. We already know how to cook Mackey roll. Hey, squid. What's up? Nothing much. Goo goo, a ga ga, a goo goo goo. I bought the tastiest puffer fish from Pierre's shop the other day. He said he found it himself while exploring the mountains. I didn't know Pierre was such a talented forager. A puffer fish in the woods. Hi, honey, I did some shopping this morning. I got this for you. Mixed seeds. I thought you could really use one of these. Thank you. That's is not the nicest. Some mixed seeds. Well, you know what we should do? We should, uh, let's see what comes of your mixed seeds. Plant those in the house here. We'll plant some old mixed seeds down. It's all good. Okay, so we have a bit more recycling here. Let's see what we got going on. And hey, we got a letter. Uh, somebody sent us something. Let's see. Greetings from Calico Desert. Come visit me soon. I'm really bored out here. I've included a gift from the desert. You can come thank me in person. Ooh, is that chowder? Oh, Tom Ka Soup. Tom Ka Soup. Do we... We know that, I think. Yeah. No, it's just some weird thing. <laughs> some weird mountain of stuff that we don't know. Hmm. Well, that was nice of her. Poor Sandy. Bored out of her skull. We should go out into the desert and visit Sandy. Okay, we got a, uh, some cloth to put away there. Excellent. Now let's put our, well, our ore away. Um, is, let's see here. How are we looking? How are we looking in terms of our other crops? Are any of these coming up? No, they're not not done yet. Well, I'm kind of wondering if I should maybe pop over to the calico and see what's going on. And while we're at it, we could go and grab a, uh, a few more resources. Okay, now I don't need... I don't need the torches. And we can sell the honey. Um, I'll keep the soup, though. The soup is nice. Well, let's see. So I might get murdered today, Penny. Um, just to keep uh, keep that one in the back of your mind. Mm, I think the cranberry was better for me. What does Cotton Tom Cod do for me? Ooh, that's a farming and max energy. I like that. Yeah, we could use the... Uh, well, we're not going to do a ton of farming. So you know what? I might save it. We'll, we'll have some of these other ones. What is that? 125. Ooh, that. Wow. Pumpkin pie. Packs a punch. Okay. I'll take some pumpkin pie. And then uh, we should probably leave some of our... You know what I'll do? I'll... This is a good chest. I've got enough room in here. So let's put some of the things we're not going to bring. Like my watering can. I think uh, the scythe or the... That. We won't bring those. Uh, I w no, I will bring that. Okay. Let's see here. I'll put these items there. There we go. I think that gives us a nice little lineup of things. We got our food. We got our snacks. It's important. The all-important food and snacks. So, uh, is there anything else? Do I want to build? I don't think I want to build staircases. I don't really care. I'm not going for ultimate depth at this point. I, I will soon. But you know what? I, as I save all of these... Um oh, we got our jams already. I'll have to... Uh, we'll get that tomorrow. I think as we get uh, further and we get more, um, we get more resource, or we get more, uh, we kind of finish up with the mines and get all the stuff. We get more rocks. As we get a pile of more rocks, we'll, I think eventually we'll just make enough that I can just barrel down and we'll, we'll see how fast we can kind of make it. Oh, you didn't see that, Pam. You didn't see that. Just have a batch. Pam didn't see me. Timothy P.I. is on the case. 
See, it's, I'm giving it away. There we go. Timothy can just be casual. I'm just casual. I'm just a horse eating some food. Might be wearing a hat, but that doesn't mean I'm intelligent. Doom, 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 doom. Come on, Pam. It's like she's got no hurry. There's no pep in her step. Let me push her. Oh, come on, Pam. Come on. Oh, come on, Timothy. Push her. Timothy, you're not enough of a pack horse. We, we got this. We got this. We can do it. We can do it. Yes, we got her. Okay, come on. Come on. Keep going, Pam. She winds a crazy little trail. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Unpredictable. Pam's all about being... I don't know if I trust her. She's an untrustworthy, unpredictable figure. <laughs> the bus just blows through our jam. Just jam everywhere. Can you imagine? The amount of jam. So we've got uh, definitely some more trees. And our tappers are still... We're waiting on those. That's all good. Oh, it's weird. The, the shape... What? Oh, that's so weird. The shape those two trees are making. That is bizarre. Huh. The way they overlap. That's kind of neat. So no tappers. And nothing. Wow, that's an interesting one. I thought that was uh, copper for a sec. I'm like, I don't really care about the... Take that, and we'll jump down the hole. It's gotta be better than one level. Six. Wow. See what happened? This is a fast one. What's this about, right? Oh, these guys, come on. Do we gotta be like this? Aren't we friends here? I like that first stone you hit, it's a ruby. Well, that's, that's maybe a good, uh, that's promising, right? Wow. That is a way to get some stone, though. We got like 50 stone from that. Oh, these guys. Gosh, I did not notice. I would, really? Are you serious? I got hit a few times, but that was fast. Oh, for Pete's sakes. I was too busy looking at what was remaining on the ground to determine whether I wanted to just go for the ladder. I should have went for the ladder. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Harvey. Well, that's funny. So, uh, what did I lose out of my inventory? Uh, some food. That was it. Wow. That, that is absurd. We got a magnet ring. That's whatever. We did get some ores. <laughs> that was a weird, weird run. Okay, we didn't get a lot of stuff. We got a little copper, a little gold, and that was about it. Wow. But we were actually barreling fairly quickly level-wise. Hmm. Whoa, we're, we're shivering now. We got, we're like, oh, I gotta eat. I gotta eat. Blood sugar crashing. There you go. Now, uh, I don't know if it's it's one o'clock. I don't think it's worth going out again. I think we'll just take care of stuff around the house now. Wow, Penny's like, oh, are you you kidding me, right? Now, I will take... Yeah, I'll take her stuff. We'll leave it like that. That's a good way of... Uh, next time we head out, we've got our things right there. Yeah, that was bananas. 
I thought, I was like, oh, this is going to be an unexpectedly good run. It was not. <laughs> it was not. We got iced way too early. Okay, we'll smelt that old gold down. How do we look on the rest of it? Okay, so we're still just waiting on stuff. All right. Where is... I must have left my fishing rod at home. I think. Where did I put that? Or is that a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I lost it. I might have just put it somewhere else by accident here. No, I didn't go in there. I went in here earlier, but there's, I don't see a fishing rod. Might be in my stone chest, in my hurry. There it is. Yeah, I thought it seemed unlikely that I lost a fishing rod, but you never know. Alright, so let's let's check what needs fixing here. So we got some jam that needs doing. And we got some wine that needs doing. So let's get the jam and the wine going. Okay, so. And uh, I'll make some strawberry jam. How about that? All right. Yeah, it's funny when you think you, you've got like a superb run going uh, out in the mines, and then you just get a whacked. The, uh, the, the lesson there is, and I think we've done this before, the lesson is always go for the ladder. If you see a ladder, take the ladder. The ladder's going to be better than whatever it is you're picking up. No, I don't want to. We're not done yet. It's 53. That's a good start to the day. Alright, so let's we'll put some strawberries in this one. See which ones are wavering, which ones aren't. I definitely, this winter, we're going to have a good haul of animal products to deal with. Although, as we found last time, it doesn't ever go as, it lasts as long as you would like. You blow through it pretty quick. I mean, we've already blown through quite a few. I think we built more um, refiners and stuff. of them. Ooh, well, what my eyes are going sideways as I'm staring at the screen. Now I want to go through the door. I don't want to eat strawberries. I could wreck the rest of the cafe in here as well. <laughs> I really should. It's a bit silly that I don't. But I kind of like having something with, you know, some kind of sense of life to it instead of just being a uh, an absurd. Like if I could extend on the house, I would I would definitely do that. Like if there was a way of just you know totally modding out the house to. Oh, am I? Oh, that was weird. I was trapped in the door for a moment. I would definitely uh, love to be able to build like another floor or something on the house. You know, build an upstairs where we could like put more of the cool things. Oh yeah, I'm lagging for some reason. It's like there's just too much going on animation-wise in here now. No, no, let's not eat. But yeah, there's so many cool things and you, it does, I guess, encourages you to change it up frequently because there's so many cool things to do or to use. Wow, I got, yeah, kegs in here as well. I mean, like, only three, but 
still. Still should get them done. Alright, let's go see how things are going out here. Let's have another cup of coffee though. Actually, while we go past, let's dump off some of our our meager finds in the mines. Mm, how about over here? Let's try. Let's get rid of a spur and a skeletal tail, and sell that jam off now. Star fruit wine, ancient fruit wine, cranberry wine. All right, let's get rid of that cranberry wine. Okay, we'll. Keep going with the rest of it here. All right, so let's get uh, keep the the jam session going here. Again, I think as as we get closer to, um, oh yeah, this looks good. This looks promising. As we get uh, more oak reds in and we build more kegs, like I think in the long run, I would end up probably doing more kegs than anything. Um, that said, you know we're going to be at a point now where we blow through uh, all of our annual star fruit produce pretty quick without getting that third crop or doing, you know, some funky stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know if that... I, I, my motivation on totally min-maxing, I don't know. I, I don't... It's uh, requires a level of attention that I'm not sure I possess. I, I, I take a certain satisfaction in it, but at the same time, it's I, when I'm, when I'm uh, recording here, I think I'm less min-maxy than I would be in real life. I've been playing uh, Graveyard Keeper still, and that that game definitely uh, you you're looking for optimization constantly to prevent the because the days start feeling very samey, and you you're trying to because there's a progression. Was you know this game has very has progression, but it's uh, somewhat more limited. Is there any other ones we missed? Don't think so. Yeah, my eyes are all looking bananas in there. Wow, that is a lot of kegs. Um, the progression system in here is a little simpler, and so you're not unlocking the abilities on tasks and stuff in as much as... Um, oh, the, no, it's nine in the evening. Wow, it's already nine in the evening. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, we were out, we were out busy, weren't we? But because there's the progression on like learning just basic skills, there's things you just can't do. It uh, it forces you to play differently. Uh, I guess let's just put things in here and then let's actually. I don't. Did we water everything and all that stuff? I don't even know that we did. So we've got a lot of a lot of wine. Another 154 bottles of uh, very good vintage here. Okay, let's go check that we did that. I don't think... Yeah, I think we rushed off. I see a lot of ancient fruit in here. Ooh. But at any rate, yeah, it... Uh, some games like that uh, encourage you, I think, to find op more optimized routes. This game, it, it has so much more character. Like the... Um, because of your relationship with the NPCs is a lot different and you're actually trying to foster those relationships it's not just a hey do stuff for me kind of thing um, it, it's a little different the, the story drives the this game a lot more even I mean uh, up and past the point where grandpa's happy with you and you, his ghost comes back I mean the game it, I like that it, you don't really feel like I mean that was a, a definite high you know a major beat in the story but it's not an end condition you know you don't you don't feel like you won the game you definitely feel driven to continue playing 
Um, and where it's the other game, I, I feel like I don't know that your drive is, is not monetary. So once you've leveled up and there is an end condition, so once you achieve that, I think your drive for continuing is much, it's way diminished. Anyway, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's just interesting seeing those different kinds of um, approaches to this sort of, uh, you know, what, what could be a kind of grindy um, mechanic of uh, foraging, farming, and then uh, just other crafting. I love to see how different games take on this one. This one still, it's the, uh, it's this, the, it's all the personality. It's all Concerned Apes' interesting personality that comes through here and makes this game what it is. I think in this was uh, designed by committee, this game would not be as good as it is. So it's the, I do think that having a singular voice and vision here paid out. Um, Again, I, you know, I think a lot of these other studios are also tiny, but they also might not have um, dedicated narrative people. Like, not to say that, you know, other games don't understand narrative design, but it's not every, every you know, if you're a really great programmer, you might not necessarily be great at telling stories. I mean, you might. But, you know, everybody has their the thing that they're better at. So I think some people excel at, uh, oh, I'm going to leave you here, Timothy. Some people excel at, Telling big stories. Some people uh, understand, you know, user interface design better or graphic design better. Very few people have a, a, a big enough skill set or are willing to develop the skill set, I think, like Concerned Ape did. So it just creates a much. Oh, well, that's it. We're done for the day. It just creates a much different kind of game. I think it'll be difficult for any game to come up and step up to this. Although, now that they're conscious of it, they might be able to make it. They understand what's required. At any rate, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.